Peace and love and happiness to you, family. Thank you so much for joining me once again on another mukbang. All right. So today we are having jasmine rice and um, having some curry, a four sausage curry stew. And in this, for this recipe, I wanted to show you because most of you have seen some of my recipes and you have seen my go-to is the canned tomatoes, canned crushed tomatoes. So in this recipe, I just wanted to also demonstrate that if you are not a canned person, then you can still get fresh ingredients to make your stew. So that, hence, therefore, that's why I did this part of the stew with all fresh ingredients, right? And the blender, same thing. All right, so the four sausages, consider the all three sausages are chicken sausage, one being an apple sausage, one being a mild Italian sausage, and the other being a tomato basil chicken sausage. And then I put this, um, I don't know how to always say that name, Kilbessa, hmm? what? Google pronunciation, somebody forgot to do that. But you get to see it at the start of the video, and you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was a turkey um, smoked sausage. So um, if you're interested on finding out how I make my long grain rice over the stove, click right here. All right. And if you're interested in how to make this stew, and what I did was, once you see in the recipe, I put it in the crock pot for five hours on low. If you're interested on how to make this stew, click on the link above. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I'd appreciate, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you would like the video. Believe it or not, that is motivation for me creating videos like so. The subscription button is right down below. Wink, wink. I see you. And those that are returning, thank you so much for returning. Let's get into it. Thank you, Lord, for This what we're about to eat. Bless the hands that have prepared this food. May that your body bless those that are watching. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And the church said, Amen. All right, let's give it a taste test. This is very flavorful. Um, definitely having the option of doing fresh versus canned, I would probably always lean into fresh. But sometimes you also find good, um, like the organic canned products and etc. etc. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm, 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 mm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Flavorful. Mm hmm. Got a little sausage in here. Give you some. I put too much rice on myself because I was hungry. You know, your eyes get bigger than your stomach sometimes. Um, this stew is also particularly good if you're going to slow cook some meat, lamb, um, even turkey legs, if you need them in stew, beef. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How are you guys doing today? Mm-hmm. Mm. That was hot. That's what happens when you're greedy. <laughs> All 
right? It's hitting the spot, hitting the spot. You can taste all the fresh ingredients, all the um, seasonings in there. Mm. 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 Slow down. And remember, if you're making your stew from scratch with all fresh ingredients, season it accordingly. It just might need that little extra seasoning because most times when I do get the canned crushed tomatoes and or um, diced tomatoes, those tend to be seasoned as well. So therefore, I'm a little bit more lenient on that. Mm -hmm. Very much delicious. Scrumptious. So how y'all doing today? going on in your life updates 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 mm -hmm. what are we reading what are we watching on the TV and in the theaters put your comments down below mm -hmm. what do you all recommend what do you all recommend we read or we watch in the theaters or we watch on the Netflix, Hulu, and or whatever other streaming services we all have out here? What are your recommendations? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. So you could distinctively taste the different flavors within the sausages themselves. Um, tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. The stew is also a good alternative for those that, you know, you want sausage, but you don't want pork sausage. So you can get all kinds of different flavors with the chicken sausages there. I bought those at Aldi's. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm filling up. <laughs> filling up. So I was watching um I start before I fell asleep. Netflix staircase. The case of the author dude. I thought I that's how quick I forgot his. And I didn't know it was an episode. I thought it was just one. I forgot to check. I usually check to see if it's got episodes connected to it. And I just thought it was one long documentary. But it's the one case with the one author. Um, his last name is Peterson. Why is his first name leaving? Fleeting me. But um, obviously I haven't finished watching it because I fell asleep on that. But I think I started to watch the first I think, I know. I was to watch the first um, episode. I think it was an episode and a half, but it was very interesting. You owe, I mean, if you like like true crime, murder, mystery, whatever, whatever, whatever. The lies and the webs that people live. The tangled webs, girl. So let me know if you've watched it. Staircase, I believe, and I believe it's under docu series or documentaries on Netflix. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that he killed his wife, or do you think other? I think he killed his wife. I just do. I mean, with my expertise from watching the first forty-eight hours for hand ages for the years that I've been watching it. My homicide detective intuition says he did. And I'm sorry, dude, if you did not, but I mean, everything is kind of pointing towards you, okay? So they were having a good time with his wife. I'll give you, it's not a spoiler alert. Um, and so what had happened was they lived in, uh, lived in this lived in this big mansion, or big house, whatever, whatever. And they were by the pool, and then they were been drinking, they drank two bottles of wine, and then his wife, what she, according to him, allegedly, she went inside the house, and I guess that's where she um, had an accident going up the stairs and died. 
they his team and girl his bill attorney bills like seven hundred and something thousand dollars do not commit that crime people i mean his team uh his legal team got some really good experts uh is it henry lee i just know his last name is lee he was out here on one of these um, um id uh specials the he's like a blood pathologist i don't know what else to call him forensic blood pathologist girl okay but i don't know i think he did because now you start to uh, they started to unravel his life you guys this i i say just leave in your truth we're in 2020 now live in your truth it doesn't matter these secrets like it's not worth killing somebody over and i get it the humiliation you've been living a lie and girl you gotta go watch it because i was like what what kind of lovers did he have how many six it's reason enough to kill, but you could have just told your wife. And at the same token, just choose to be who you want to be. Live your life. Live your life to its full truth. I tell you, it's liberating. It is very liberating. It is. It's 2020. So you could do whatever you want, pretty much, in terms of whether people approve of you or not. I love you guys so much for watching. Stay blessed. Please subscribe. Thumbs up this video. I thank you so much for stopping by. I am always humbled for your presence and i randomly inserted that just in case the film runs out i want to make sure i've pointed that out but y'all go check out the staircase on netflix let me know what you think i think he did it and then y'all they girl when they dig up they dug up that a family friend in germany in the 70s this lady died the same way his wife died by the staircase hence it's called the staircase why i killed her what, she found out the secret? Wouldn't divorce have been much better?